How's it going, YouTube? We do have an exclusive interview here with esports.net with our community and events manager, Adam, uh, after our success, very successful uh, second TCG Expo here in Liverpool. Uh, so what would you say is the like lessons that you learned from the first one in Glasgow? Because that was big. This has been absolutely massive. Uh, if, the, if it's too far north, players will not travel. <laughs> um, the most important thing I think that we learned was that if we're going to do it, we need to do it bigger and get as many different things as we can involved. So at the Glasgow TCG Expo, we had a lot of games, but little numbers for them. So for this event, we thought we'll condense the numbers uh, of events slightly and then take it from there. So obviously we've had our main three Bandai games and we've run a Dragon Ball custom event as well so we've had all four we had a big Pokemon tournament we've had Lorcana we've got Magic the Gathering on and all of those have seen good numbers and hopefully we can continue to to grow them and it's been great to work with all of the vendors and get them in as well um, especially all, all of our sponsors and things like that yeah, it was really really cool like Pokemon especially did quite well considering the obviously they've got the international that's going on right yeah. now would you say that this is a good sign that like TCGs on the whole are in a good place in the UK absolutely um, um, I think with certain TCGs that, are, that have just come out, the fact that it sells out so quickly and stock is hard to get, I think is a good sign. It means publishers need to print more stock and they probably weren't anticipating that the level, looking at Lorcana, looking at Shadowverse, that sort of thing. Um, but the response to the TCGs within the UK is currently experiencing a boom. There's more card games than ever before and all of them are fairly robust and fairly well put together. So, like, we keep seeing more communities popping up in little villages that have, you know, uh, either like a, a chain geek shop, like Geek Retreat or something like that, or local game stores that are independent chains as well. Those, they're, they're helping support their communities as well. And there's just more and more people getting into it. And the, what's really good as well is like with games like Lorcana, it's family friendly. Yeah. And it is aimed for children and families to play. So you're 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 trying to access a whole new side of the TCG market by making it so accessible for them. Okay. Do you think stuff like Pokemon is notorious for having a juniors division? Mm -hmm. like that? Do you think that that's some, that the route that other card games can look at to try and introduce like more younger people into competitive thing without being stomped by like twenty year olds with plenty of time and plenty of money? I think it's definitely something that a lot of games could consider. It depends on the game itself, I would say. So for games like One Piece, which is aimed at teenagers and above, kids can play it. We have no problem allowing kids into the event, but it does have fairly adult themes, so we always recommend a bit of caution to, to parents. Pokemon obviously has its age division and it works really, really well, so maybe more family friendly games like Lorcana um, might introduce that in the future. I don't know if that's something that they've considered or not, but they, as they have no announcements about their organised play yet, other than something's coming later next year, they might be considering that. Okay. Um, I guess I'd like to, with the sponsors and having the vendors and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, how does that sort of thing come about? Because it makes it feel so very different to your standard regional where you just go, you play your card games, mm -hmm. you go X2, you bubble, you leave. Well, the thing that we got a lot of feedback from, so we started doing events at UK Games Expo for the most part, and the, the feedback we got was, yeah, this event's great, but it's mostly tabletop role-playing games or board games or there's only a few TCG vendors and most of them were just selling things like sleeves and binders and things like that. And they were like, we want a place with singles that we can buy and sell and, you know, talk to all these different people, meet all these different vendors that are throughout the UK. So then we got in touch with all of the vendors at Glasgow event, at this event, and a lot of them we're instantly interested. We've got a lot of unique vendors here as well, so there's not a lot of crossover. We made it clear to all vendors that, you know, if you're coming to this event, if all you're bringing is sealed product of the latest set of One Piece, you're going to be competing with 10 other vendors. But if you're bringing singles, rare cards, graded cards, we've got multiple um, slab dealers on display. We also have Ace Grading, who sponsored the event as well, uh, and they've got a big booth here. 
having those unique cards and un unique vendors in, all of them have been really, really happy with the event. And we wanted to make this a place for players as well as, well as collectors. Um, and just aim it at TCG enthusiasts, young and old, of all ages, of, uh, of all, everything really. Yeah, the player experience was fantastic. I really enjoyed the events that we played in. Good. Uh, I mean, Digimon capped on everything. Yep. Uh, Which well, is good to teams, see. Well, teams, because I think going forward, I'd definitely like to see teams. Uh, yeah, I like the, the teams concept. Uh, it's really good. The teams format is not new either. Uh, plenty of places have been doing unofficial teams events for a while so it's great to get an official one and i feel that with a little bit more timing it yeah. probably would have sold out if we had been able to put it on a, a better time slot but that's all we had but as far as i'm aware bandai are not one and done there will be more teams events coming out which would be really good because the community were like this is great we can't play in it though yeah if you, you had to have the make the decision that you were not going to go on a run if you were X1 we yeah. made the wrong decision fair <laughs> fair but yeah hopefully uh, at future events like not just like regionals but also if we ever get like a UK Nats for Digimon or any of the other band that games it would be really cool to see it be at the helm of uh, things like that and the spectator experience as well for One Piece was fantastic good I'd just like to hopefully see the rest of the band that games get the support Digimon I know people were pitching for it pitching for it but I mean do you think you'd ever go multi-stream or do you think single stream as well? it's definitely something that we would like to do Right now, we don't have the budget for more than one stream at a time. And because One Piece is the hot commodity, One Piece is where the uh, it helps to supplement the budget, especially with the casters knowing their things and stuff like that. For future events, if we get bigger, and we do hope to get bigger, we would love to invest in a multi-stream setup for all games. Awesome. Well, thanks again for running a fantastic event and taking the time out of your day. Thank to you very much. With us. Of course. Have a fantastic uh, rest of your year. When do you think we're next going to be seeing you guys? We are hoping to do a bigger event, another TCG Expo, sometime next year. We want to plan it and make sure that it is perfect. So we're maybe aiming towards the later half of the year and just make sure that it is bigger and better. But we're aiming for maybe a bit more down south, maybe London or the surrounding areas. I can give you that little hint. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, where are the socials that people can find out if they do want to keep an eye on the information and stuff like that? Yep, so you can find us at TCG Expo UK on Facebook as well as Organised Play Events. We are OPE UK Official on Twitter, and you can find Organised Play Events on YouTube on twitch as well and over on our instagram we've got tcg expo uk that you can find all of our details on the streams for these uh the one piece event will be live once this event concludes today and we have published all of our deck lists as well that are available over on limitless which is our our tournament partner all right thanks very much and uh thanks to everyone that stopped by for the interview there will be a write-up on esports.net that summarizes the most of it but for everyone else on the gnt elixir channel thank you very much see you in the next one. thank you